السلام عليكم ده تسجيل المحاضرة الأخيرة في رمضان بفكر حضراتكم إن إن شاء الله رايت right أفتر عيد بعد العيد هيبقى في أسبوع واحد أونلاين والباقي كله بعد كده إن شاء الله هيبقى فيس تو فيس ودون فيجيت إن إحنا عندنا كويس 2 كويس 2 هيدخل فيه إيه؟ نشوف مع بعض كده If we talk about quiz 2 quiz 2 عندنا فيه جزء تيمولوجي تيمولوجي جزء American and British أنا هجيب لحضراتكم ثلاث أربع جمل عبارة عن This is American or British and we give an equivalent Number two هديك جملة أو اثنين etymology أطلب منك تعمل الأناليسيس بتاعتها وآخر حاجة خالص هديكوا كلمات وأقول لك إيه نوع التغيير هو إيه؟ إيه نوع التغيير عندنا؟ بفكركم جميعاً إن إحنا عندنا ال الكتاب كان منقسم ازاي؟ احنا طبعا الكتاب ده درسناه مع بعض وكمان اديت لكم تلخيصات وكمان اديت لكم تسجيلات. لو احنا النهارده المحاضره بتاعتنا مهمه جدا عشان سريعا كده مراجعه. اليونتس اللي داخله في كويس 2 هي يونتس 6 7 6 بين امريكان وبريتش 7 اللي هو سيمانتيك uh, تشينجز وطبعا يونت 8 اللي هو ايتيمولوجي يبقى احنا عندنا 3 يونتس وبعديها نبقى يونت 8 وبعد كده يونت 9 اخر حاجه ده ان شاء الله في اخر السنه بس مش في كويست 2 لما يعني بنتكلم على الديفرنسز بين امريكان اند بريتش دون فورجيت ان احنا عندنا ذير سو ماني ديفرنسز ريليتد سبيلينج فوكابيلري جرامر اند برونونسيشن سو اف اي جيت يو سمثينج لايك ذات Guys, if I give you something like this, this one, can you please tell me, decide whether the following examples are British or American. The accident happened in autumn. What do you think, guys? Autumn. Yeah, autumn. fall. Very good. Thank you. And I'll definitely say something. I'll definitely say... Yes, thank you. This is American. What's the British equivalent? Fall. Fall. Uh, fall. So this is American. They decided to take the bus. So this is American or British? American. Why? Because they use the past symbol. The past simple, excellent, thank you. By the way, Also I just want to remind you that احنا عندنا هنا past simple بس من غير tense marker يعني احنا دائما بنقول ايه ago, yesterday, last week احنا ما عندناش حاجة من الحاجات دي خالص. Okay. فاحنا عندنا هنا ما دام الزمن مفتوح طب انت لسه دمت الماضي عشان American اللي بريتش بيقولوا ايه؟ uh, بالظبط كده they have decided they have decided so if I want to say we visited the harbor last month we visited the harbor in مشكلة هنا في harbor is this the American spelling or British spelling American. American spelling. Thank you very much. A British A. O U R. O U R. Thank you very much. If I say something like, I just ate French fries, cookies, and candies, what do you think? It would be, um, I just ate uh, chips. Okay, um, no, actually. I just want to tell you that when we use just, we say, I have just eaten. I have just eaten. Can we just take up to my present perfect? But the Americans be happy to them past simple. I just ate French fries. Instead of French fries, we can say what? Chips. Chips, cookies. Instead of cookies. Biscuits. Biscuits, Biscuits and candies. We say sweets. 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 Excellent. Thank you very much.
traveling by bus is tiring. Is this American or British? Huh? Traveling by bus. American. American. What's the British equivalent? Double L. Double L for the spelling. Double L. So the very first part in the exam, the quiz will be about whether it's American or British. Okay. So don't forget if you've got something here like uh, um, okay, traveling. أي حاجة في الآخر L الأمريكيز مش بعملوا doubling أمريك البريتش بعملوا double. Okay. What about the spelling here? He wrote a check for the new tires. Can we to check the American or the British? American. American. Well, British spelling is Z. It was Z spelling. Q U E. Q U E. Q U E. Q U E. Thank you. Q U E. U U E. What about tires? To give it Z tires. Why? T Y. Bravo, Alikum. If therefore, we are needing to remember Unit Six, so we can remember the quiz in American and British. So, the next one is Unit Two. I just said it now. I have etymology. Had you been come had a good in etymology, my or not? Thank you. The matters from the norm had to take a look at the quiz. Okay, it's for the record. I know what I know. I seen had you that you could learn a way or learn a result. Yeah, I etymology and I give you come gumla or like analysis analysis like what the word very. I hope I'm making a you can my hood hot of quotation marks. Firstly, appeared in the middle English period. Thank you very much. In the middle English period. This means what? That it was introduced uh, during the Norman French conquest. Rob Adikiano, Desa. Okay. It was spelt as Zayanur. Green. Any thing that was Middle English, it was from there. Norman French conquest. It was spelt Berian. In the old English period. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I want to. Berian Middle English. Berian Middle English. And. And it was from old English. Bravo, Arif. Montez, Montez, yes, sir. Old English. And it's spelled as Bergen. No, I'm not saying all of them are spelled. I'm going to speak it out at all. Oh, Bergen, which was akin to, I mean, if the etymology similar to Old High German. Old High German word Bergen. Meaning to shelter. Meaning to shelter. Hey, to shelter. Very, very now means what? Very man. Yitfid. The man yishmi. The man of God. Hey. The word has gone through a semantic change. Thank you, Sora. Semantic change. Thank you. That's brilliant. About the Kerega map, please now the screenshot that we remember how to write such words. How an emily preservation or the highway? They are not mean the little canon. The far Sarah, my favorite, I'm just going to try to be here in the Gabetic talk for your law of Burbet. Robert, I'm going to watch all right. يا جماعة لازم لازم الناس اللي فايقة في رمضان وبتحل تاخد سكورز أعلى عشان ما حدش يتخض من طلبة بيجيبوا إكسلنت وإي وحد تاني هيجيب سي. The word has gone through a semantic change namely السلام لو كتبتيها يا سارة. يبقى أنت دخلتي دخلتي two chapters في إجابة واحدة. Page duration برافو عليك ربنا يحفظك صح كده. Page duration means what؟ Page duration means positive change or negative change. سارة negative Thank you. Type. We'll see you again.
عمر موجود النهاردة مينا فين الناس الشاطرة فين مينا فين صديقي العزيز مينا يس يا دكتور هلو مينا هابي ايستر رو هابي ايستر دكتور انا عايزك بقى تساعدني في اللي جاية دي كده عشان ايه استمتع بالايستر وانت ايه مذاكر كويس I want to ask you something in etymology ذاكرتوا الملخص ال languages ذاكرنا ال analysis وازاي نعمل analysis تعالوا مع بعض كده نشوف كده حاجة زي مش عارف الكلمه اللي حملناها المره فاتت ولا لا بس ديت اهيت this is called etymology اوكي اللي هي الكلمه دي يا جماعه اتفضلوا مين يقدر كده who wants to volunteer ويحل معانا في المراجعه بتاعت النهارده volunteer yes volunteer please raise your hand if you're interested اوكي احمد المهدي اتفضل يا احمد Yes, sir. Word. Uh, red, uh, taking from first in uh, in the Middle English. Middle English, Middle firstly appeared in Middle English. Aywa. Introduced uh, in the Norman Conquest. And this means that it was introduced during. Snagazwood Francoin in Norman French. Conquest. Yes. And it was taken yeah. from. Yeah, واحدة بقى. هنا بقى اللي سبيلينج بتاعها إيه؟ ما تغيرش خدت بالك؟ Yes. Uh, لي مين يقدر يقول لي إيه اللي عرفني إن هي اللي سبيلينج بتاعها ما تغيرش؟ لو كان اتغير كانوا هيسيبوه كانوا هيكتبوه. برافو عليك. ما دام ما كتبوش هنا يبقى ذيرفور and it was spelled red. أهي. It is taken from. The O E and A. Old English. Read, which is ha akin to يعني يعني akin to similar to. Thank you very much. The old uh the old high German. Old high German. Rot, meaning a red. Red. Which is taken from Latin A. Uh, rubber and Greek. Uh, Thank you very much, Ahmed. Meaning a bordo. Red bordo. But therefore, do you think the word has gone through any change or not? Yes, transfer. Has a transfer here, Zaman can smell red. Oh, no, Mamish transfer. Thank you very much. The word has not gone. Through any semantic change, so this is kind of the etymology analysis. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, guys. So, once again, this is called what? Can someone tell me? This is called what? Etymology. Yes. بعد كده آخر سؤال إن شاء الله في quiz two هقول لك decide the type of semantic change. إيه هو semantic change that happened? What kind of semantic change that happened? What kind of semantic change that happened here? Okay, so إحنا عندنا جماعة في كم نوع من أنواع semantic changes اللي حصل. Six. Yes. إيه هما six types اللي هيجي لك في الامتحان؟ ممكن الكلمة كانت very specific وبقى معناها عامة أوي. Okay, ودي هنشوفه دلوقتي ك example. ممكن الكلمة زمان كانت حاجة عامة جدا بس ما specific دلوقتي. Amelioration معناه 
معناها تحسن تيجريشن معناها مستو... معناها اتدهور بقى معناها نيجاتيف ترانسفير اتغيرت بشكل عام كان زمان معناها كونكريت حاجه ملموسه بقت حاجه غير ملموسه ابستراكت من المجردات زي المشاعر او العكس الصحيح فانا في الست حاجات دولت هجيب لكم كلمات واقول لك زمان ايه ودلوقتي ايه مثال اكزامبل حد منكم فاكر الكلمه ديت ولا لا؟ تينت كلمة تينت فيجوريشن What do you think, guys? Is it pejoration or amelioration? Taint. Pejoration. To color. To Thank you. To kind of pejoration. If I say the word crafty, the man, واحد صاحب مهنة, بدلاتي معناه خبيس وشرير. So pejoration. Well, okay. If I say uh, Fond, fond of. It means the man foolish, abit. The word by meaning is artificial. Amelioration. Amelioration. Amelioration, and it has improved, of course. Yes. If I say something like uh, yes, zest, lemon peel, later enjoyment. Lemon peel, the here. أشارة الليمون اللي بتقشر الليمون الأصفر peel تأشير الليمون للوقتي استمتاع وحماس حصلها غير من إيه؟ أه amelioration لا 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 transfer من transfer من حاجة تانية كمان من حاجة بتقشر الليمون concrete to abstract thank you Concrete to abstract. Concrete to abstract. To concrete to abstract. Okay. Like if I say wife, a imra'a lizoga. Wife. Specialization. 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 Good. Specialization. Okay. If I say, um, here, yes, Mary, Mary, fire the hag the bad the killer Saeed and also short later. Kind of amelioration transfer. and transfer as well. Amelioration and transfer, yes. Okay, if I say food generalization. 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 I forget, guys. This is called generalization. Okay. If I say had Treadmill means what? Treadmill. Amelioration. Transfer. 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 No, transfer. <laughs> But the idea is that when the time was used to make the equipment in the sugun, and now it's a gym. So it's an amelioration. Amelioration. And transfer as well. Yes. Don't forget that we have three units in the quiz two. Six, seven, and eight. Don't forget that the Uzbah al Qadim, inshallah, the Eid, Happy Eid, all the time, Hadra Kum Mekhir. The Uzbah that after the Eid, inshallah, we have the Hadra. It will be online. The first Uzbah after the Eid online, and we will be inshallah face to face. We will do the quiz two. Quiz two is very difficult, but we need to practice how many units? How many units? But we will practice with each other. Three units. Six. بعد كده هو ان شاء الله باذن الله محتاجين نخلص الشابتر يونت الاخير ده ان شاء الله برضو بعد العيد يكون باقي زمايلنا فايقين معانا عشان اخر يونت هو مفيد جدا ومهم جدا للترجمه اكتر منها طبعا للهيستوري بس للترجمه اكتر 
you also created neologism. Can someone tell me what does it mean, the word neologism? Neologism means what? Coinage of new words. Thank you very much. It's, yeah, excellent. Thank you. Coining new words. Coining new words. Coining new words. Coining new words. Can someone read this, please, as an introduction? Ahmad, can you read it? Yes, sir. A neologism? A neologism is simply a new term introduced into a language to indicate a new st state of affairs, a new technology, a new phenomenon, etc. This implies that a new state of affairs is born in a culture and the language used lacks a term to describe it. This is why the users of the language in question coin a new one to describe it, i.e. to meet a linguistic need. Many neologisms embark upon a typical journey consisting of three stages, birth, life, and death. To clarify, a neologism is born, used for a while, and then dies. For example, vanishes from the language because language users stop using it. That's very good, thank you. So, neologisms embark upon a typical journey concerning of birth, life, and death. Neologism is born, used for a while and then dies, vanishes from the language because language, language uses, users stop using it. Mutargimin, I think translators really find some kind of difficulty when they try to translate neologisms. Like chatology, chat, idardish, quictionary, a quictionary, quictionary, al qamus sariya. Um, so, inshallah, بعد العيد حنقعد نفكر في ترجمة الكلمات دي. الواجب بتاعكم اللي هيسلم لي الكلمات دي مترجمة هيبقى ليها أعمال سنة في الparticipation. جزء من الparticipation هيبقى على ترجمة الكلمات الأخيرة في صفحة 55 and 56. الكلمات دي هي كلمات مستحدثة جديدة. في آخر يونت عندنا يونت 9 وده يونت مش داخل في كويست 2 بس مهم للفاينل اكزام. Thank you very much indeed guys. كل عام وحضراتكم بخير. هشوفكم بإذن الله إن شاء الله. يا ريت تسجلهم عندكم في الكالندر إن أنا هشوفكم يوم 9 مايو عشان 2 مايو الاثنين الجاي هيبقى أول يوم عيد الفطر. الاثنين اللي بعديه 9 مايو و10 مايو بعد العيد الفطر مباشرة وبعد كده ننزل نتقابل 16 ان شاء الله في اون كامبس ونعمل امتحان كويس 2 يوم 16 وبعد كده يبقى فاضل اسبوع كمان نراجع وبعد كده ان شاء الله نبدا امتحانات نهايه السنه اول ما الاداره تعرفنا وكل عام وحضراتكم بخير لو في اي وقت احتجتوا اي حاجه ابعتوا على الواتساب او اسالوني وربنا يوفقكم يا ريت تتفرجوا على الحلقه دي عشان تجهزوا نفسكم لكويست 2 والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله